Hey guys, Ellie here. In today's video, the animal that you see, you're gonna hear me and my friend refer to it as a tortoise, probably like 10,000 times to be honest with you. But I wanna make it super duper clear before the video starts that it is not a tortoise, it is actually a turtle. Uh, at the time, my friend had just rescued it because it was about to get ran over and it was one of his clients who actually told him that it was a Texas tortoise. He wasn't super educated about turtles and tortoises, so he just kind of went with that. And I wasn't super educated about them either. So when he told me, I just kind of went with that too. It wasn't until I had taken it home a few hours later that I had time to start doing some research. And I showed Megan and we kind of concluded together that it was obviously a turtle instead of a tortoise like we had thought before. A few ways that you can tell the difference is that a turtle kind of has like little flippers, like little claws that help them tread water and swim easier because turtles are more water-based animals. But a tortoise has like little stubby toes that are meant for walking on land because tortoises are land animals. They don't go in the water as much. And this is all stuff that I didn't know at the time, but after talking to Megan and after researching myself, I might as well just be a marine biologist by now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, obviously. But no, in all seriousness though, yeah, we, we didn't know at this time. We were at small groups, so we didn't have a chance to go home and do a bunch of research yet, but I'm a lot more educated on turtles and tortoises now. We've since then released it into the wild because if it's a turtle, it needs to be in different bodies of water. It wouldn't be good, like sheltered, but if it's a tortoise, then it would have been better to keep like as a pet. That's the reason that I, I thought and that I was intending on keeping it as a pet, as you'll hear me say in the video. But it's in a good place now, I'm sure. And it's kind of sad almost. It's kind of, I guess you could say bittersweet, kind of a what could have been because I was really excited to have a pet tortoise as my own. It would have been really fun and really cool to raise, showcase through the years how much it grows up. But, you know, if God wills, then it'll happen at some point in the future. Anyways, though, you know, just without further ado, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Guys, y'all are not going to believe this right here. So I'm with my friends, Joel, Alberto, and Tim. We're having small group, but look at this right here. It's a tortoise. Texas tortoise. A Texas tortoise. I come over here and the first thing they say is, hey, Ellie, you want him? You want to keep him? And I was like, heck yeah. So, but you, you got to tell me the story. Like, well, how did you find this guy? What happened? Yeah, so I was out uh, in the downtown Umble area giving an estimate for my company TNS yes uh, and I had seen him getting ready to get hit by an 18 whittler oh my goodness and I I stopped and I ran over and I grabbed him quickly and I realized that where he was at wasn't a safe area because no matter which way he went he was in danger uh, so I took him down the road I went to finish a job site my client had raised four or five of these of these tortoises he had informed me that uh, literally if I put him out inside the woods, these tortoises will spend their entire life trying to get back to where they were raised at. Uh huh. Uh, and it was probably what he was trying to do. Somebody moved him. Uh, and where he'd have to go through is about five to six major highways, which he'd get killed doing. Yeah. So uh, that's trying to find a home for him. That's crazy. You said they're endangered? I believe certain species of tortoises are. Because because at first, sure species this at is. first when I came out here, y'all said a turtle, and I figured, oh man, my dad has ten thousand turtles at his yeah. pond. But you mentioned tortoise, which is slightly different. Yeah, that's that's probably why it's so little because it's a baby. Because I've known tortoises to be much bigger than turtles oh, on average. Grow like the size of that fire pit right there. It's not bigger. Yeah, I seen tortoises at the zoo. They get pretty big. Hey, yeah. I heard. I just asked Alexa, and they said that they can totally eat. Red berries. Tortoises can eat red berries. I'll put yeah. them down and we'll let them Wow. Them moving. That is crazy. Well, I, you might want to chop it up because of how tiny it is. I never would have ever thought this would have happened today. Tim, I'm, I don't want it to bite me. How do I pick it up? Grab it from the back end, dead center, like right past here? his legs. Yes. Okay. Right there. So he's not going to bite me like this? No, he's not. All right. <laughs> Guys, I don't believe it. I'm holding a tortoise, a baby tortoise. All right, guys, I'm trying to be very, very quiet right now. The little tortoise has just poked her head out of the shell. I think she was waiting until, nope, she didn't think anybody was bothering her, that anybody was paying attention. So we're gonna try to be a little inconspicuous about this. 
Let's see what she's gonna do right now. Oh, she's putting her head. Oh, she's rotating. She's rotating. She's walking, you guys. She's walking. She looks so funny when she. <laughs> she looks so funny when she walks. This is hilarious. This really is God's timing, Tim, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. I am. Um, she's so confused by the fire pit. She's confused by the fire pit, yes. She covered a lot of ground. She was just right here. Well, they move quickly. Yeah, like, sneak, they're, very, they're sneaky fast, honestly. People don't realize how fast tortoises actually are. So much for that old stereotype about the tur turtles being slower than the snails or whatever. Uh, no, it's uh, turtles are slower than rabbits oh the rabbit and the tortoise or whatever that little kid's book all right guys i hope you enjoyed that video some of you might be wondering ellie if you knew that you were wrong about what kind of animal it was and you didn't even end up keeping it why make a video about it why post it to youtube and facebook and the answer to that is i just feel like it could be a good educational experience for those of you out there if any of you come across a turtle or a tortoise you can for one learn from my mistake and be able to tell the difference and for two just kind of i guess i don't know it was just it was just a cute moment to share i suppose it was cute to see how excited we were to raise it and take care of it how excited we were to have a new rescue and then i'm really i just think it's awesome how fast it got from place to place like i said the turtle is not even the land-based one the turtle is the water-based one out of the two and it still covered that much ground that fast it's that little kid's book the hare and the tortoise where the turtle slash tortoise is known for being super slow but in real life i can tell you i just saw it firsthand they're not really that slow uh, killing that old stereotype but anyways guys with that said i hope y'all enjoyed this video y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see hope you all have an incredible day and as i always say your boy ellie out